and I'm a lifelong Evertonian fan. And I'm here at the Everton training ground with um, Leighton Baines and Seamus Coleman. And we're doing the Around the Table today. Uh, so, are you guys ready? Should we just dive right in? Yeah. Um, right, so when I was on Britain's Got Talent, um, there were these two amazing acts that did um, keep me up. And I was just wondering how many of you guys did. Well, Amanda, I mean, those freestyling were pretty really special, and I think their technique was uh, something that they've been working on for a long time. We'll never be able to do that many. <laughs> Uh, especially being defenders, we really struggled with that. Uh, I'm very left foot dominant as well, so yeah, that struggled uh, really good. Oh, I'm like, my football knowledge is a lot better than my football skills. What about you, Kenneth? Uh, I think, yeah, they touched on it. It's one of those sides of the game where you really get to show off too much as defenders. I think my option would be quite unhappy. Quite aside from flicking the ball up and trying to dribble past someone. But I know it's one of the lads like Yanni Palassi and Joe Villapo, both of them. So I said, I heard you guys had a go this morning at training. How did that go? combined um, experience of 16 years between you, but you guys did join from both um, quite different backgrounds, footballing backgrounds. Um, what was it like joining the club? Yeah, so obviously I came from Sligo Rovers for 6,000, a um, bit different to the late people speak to me, uh, but all the lads were really welcoming, particularly the older guys. Tony Hibbert, who was the club's previous right back, uh, was a big inspiration to me, um, helped me, taught me a lot, but I'd like to think it's a small bit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as Seamus said, I think it was really welcoming when I joined. Um, I felt there was quite a lot of pressure, a lot to live up to, uh, especially given the price tag I came with. Um, I'd probably say the most revealing moment for me, I had a uh, lecture with the chairman, I don't know if Seamus had it, but he sort of outlined the club's history and the, the privilege to wear the shirt, and I think from that day on, I really understood how much it means to play for Everton. Well, you're right. Um, the fans have certainly accepted you. That 60 grand, 60 grand, James <laughs> Coleman is a chant our fans sing with pride at away games. Um, there are obviously quite a lot of songs. Um, what are your favourites in the terraces? Yeah, I mean, it's always great having your own chant, especially when you're being praised for playing for the Everton way. Um, my favourite probably has to be it's a grand old team, though. I mean, it's a classic Everton chant. All yeah. the fans know it, and when it's boring out of good, it's nothing better, really. So. Yeah, for me, I'd probably say. Um, even though he's at Manchester City now, uh, John Stones is chant. Um, I remember they were playing at Chelsea, and obviously Chelsea had offered to buy Stones. I remember the Everton faithful singing Money Can't Buy You Stones in the uh, tune of the Beatles song Money Can't Buy You Love. I thought that was pretty cool. So, I'm a massive Everton fan, and I'd love to know what your favourite Everton moments are. Mine is definitely when George Shaw won, um, was voted by the Everton fans for um, Gold of the Month. Obviously, um, George Shaw is a young boy that suffers from cerebral palsy. He's nine years old, so that was a really, really touching moment for me as a fan. What about you guys? Yeah, I think meeting George is actually really eye-opening for everyone. Um, I mean, he came into the dressing room, he was in training, and it's a pretty eye-opening experience in all. Um, I think personally, my favourite moment as an Everton player was actually getting my England call up. Um, but it was when I was in the changing room at Goodison. I got the call and uh, I remember I was with all the Everton lads and they found out and we sort of had a, a beer afterwards together in the spring. That's my favourite. Yeah, I mean, all the stuff Everton does in the community is really quite inspiring. We go to our hey, children's hospital quite often and the strength of the positivity you see from these kids is inspiring even for us as professional footballers. Um, I mean, similar to later, um, getting my finding out I was being captured of Northern Ireland um, whilst playing in the squad. It was something I never would have been able to do without the help and support what Everton gave me as well. Now guys, I know you had a fun morning this, um, this morning with the training and um, I heard you were recreating some iconic shots, some iconic goals. Um, how did that go for you? Yes, yeah, so we started off with the Lukaku goal, which as you can see I didn't do so well in. 
Ja, en bana var med en del om föregående... Ja, vad är det som säger? Det är just det här med att det är så impossible som inte är gjort. Det är perfekt att det är så bra, men hur kan det vara? Yeah, you can see I didn't have a great effort. Good effort, sir. Oh boy. Yeah. That was the best one there. Winner of the crossbar. Yeah, then recreating one of my own goals was pretty cool. I only took two attempts to nail it again. Yeah, I see this first one was a bit of a scuff. Of course you recreate your own goals. Oh, mate. Second one was pretty good. There you go. Good little celebration there as well. Oh, this is Arteta, a bit of a club legend. A bit of an old guy, this one. Uh, I'm pretty awful, pretty awful person to have uh, got it second there. Yeah, it's really good fun, good little morning today. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, at the Wembley FA Cup semi final, the crowd was intense, I was there. And um, I just wanted to know what it was like to lose in the 90th minute to Man United. What was that like for you guys? Yeah, I mean, that was pretty tough, wasn't it? That was probably one of the hardest moments of my career, actually, in England or Everton. Um, yeah, I think, you know, we've worked so hard to get there. You know, we haven't had a trade for since 95, you know, it was going to be a big, big moment for us in it, it didn't happen, so yeah, felt really sorry for the fans as well. Um, yeah, I mean, their goal was completely against them on a favourite goal, we thought we were really in the chance of winning the game, especially after Chris Morley had scored that own goal for them. Yeah, yeah. So, talking about um, own goals, you guys must have had your own fair share. What's the feelings when that happens? I don't think I've ever scored an own goal. <laughs> Um, although earlier this year I scored a penalty against uh, Stoke and then the ball hit the post and came off the back of the keeper and went in, so it counted as a no goal for the goalkeeper. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I couldn't really imagine what it feels like. You must know, Jamie, you've scored a few. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I guess it's the defender's worst nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's nothing worse. I mean, I normally think I'm quite good at drowning out the clouds when I play games, but when, when you score a goal, you can't, you, can't, you can't avoid it. I remember I scored an own goal at Chelsea for the month 3 1. And uh, Diego Costa, their strike, gave me a bit of stick, but um, it's almost a situation you've got to pull yourself back up and not focus on it and get back in the game. So, uh, you guys are both known for your prowess and attack. And I'm sorry to say, Seamus, but Leighton's free kick against West Ham is definitely my favourite. Um, and I just wanted to know what your favourite goals that you guys have scored in the blue shirts are. Yeah, I mean, that free kick I scored against West Ham that we saw in the footage earlier is a pretty cool moment. But I think for me, my favourite goal was way at Chelsea, fourth round FA Cup, 2011, I think it was. Main strike, um, that was pretty special, I think it was 29th minute of extra time. Uh, see a replay, so it's all or nothing, away from home. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool, that was my favourite, I think. What can I say, I've scored quite a few now. Um, <laughs> some, of the, some of the lads have been pretty good fancy, a bit of a stick, saying that I've taken the scoring boots and given them back. Um, <laughs> No, I mean probably my favourite goal has been against Swansea. It was one of those, uh, one of those strikes that hit me cleanly, top corner. Yeah, nice yeah. goal. Yeah. Well, um, guys, that's all we have time for today. It's been an absolute pleasure to be sitting and talking to you guys. I always love talking to you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was good fun. Yeah, good day. and um, I'm looking forward to seeing the next game. Yeah. Hope you cool. will be winning. That's right. Thanks, Thank you. you. Cheers.